Hello, and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren, and I'm an application engineer here at TPM. Today, we're going to take a look at BIM 360 Field. Specifically, we're going to take a dive into the Issues module. Today's video will be part of a larger series of videos about BIM 360 Field, so please stay tuned. If you're unfamiliar with BIM 360 Field, it is a cloud-based construction management solution for both 2D and 3D environments. Field leverages mobile technologies and cloud-based computing for efficient team coordination and reporting, meaning your field and office personnel have critical data when they need it, improving quality, creating efficiencies, and mitigating risks on your project. Field has two interfaces, web-based and mobile. The BIM 360 Field web interface is designed for office or trailer use. This is where you have a more reliable internet connection. Here, the entire database is accessible, including all of the issues, checklists, and equipment on the project. BIM 360 Field for the iPad is the mobile extension of BIM 360 Field that allows you to work connected or disconnected in the field. This is most likely where the majority of your project data will be generated. Both the iPad and the web interfaces connect to the central repository in the cloud that serves as your project's single source of truth. When I log in, the home screen is the project overview page. Here, the customizable graphics show a quick overview of my project. These graphs provide both day-to-day -day analysis as well as identify trends through time. These reports give me a quick sense of what's going on in my project. On the left are the different modules. Our primary modules are issues, checklists, and equipment. Today, we're going to look at the issues module. We'll look at the checklists and equipment modules in future videos. Issues are part of your project's quality control, safety, commissioning, work list, and punch list processes. Since most of the data comes from the field, I'm going to switch to the mobile platform. In the field with an iPad, I can manually create new issues. Click the Add Issues button in the upper right and begin typing out the issue details. Note the quick type bar here above the keypad. Notes and text I've used previously are retained so I can quickly enter in short bodies of text on the fly. Next, attach a photo. This can be done with the iPad's camera or pulled from the iPad's existing photo library. Then I assign the issue to a company. Finally, set the location of the issue in the building. If I want, I can pin this issue to an exact spot in the drawing with the pin. Once pinned, use the list button to return to your issue list. Now, the issue shows at the top of my list. Additionally, I can use an issue template to quickly generate my common issues. Press the issue template stamp in the upper right. Then, scroll through your template groups to select a specific issue. The issue is quickly generated with most of the common information filled out. All I have to do is attach my photos and pin it. Now I'm going to sync and my issues will be pushed up to the database. Now I'll switch back to the web interface. Back in the trailer or office, I can see all the issues on my project. The filters on the left and the column headers at the top control how many issues I see and their sorting. This makes managing large issue lists much faster. From here, I can open an issue by double clicking on it. Now I can access the issues associated data like description, equipment, company, status, and location. Under the Attachments tab, I can access any of the attachments on the issue, including any photos or documentation. The Comments tab shows all the related comments for this issue and includes author data and date stamp. So another quick note about issues. I can link issues together. To do this, check two or more issues, then drop down More Actions and click on Link Issues. This links these two issues together. In this case, Patch Hole and Paint Patch issues are linked together. 
When I open either of the linked issues, I can see the status of the other linked issue. This is particularly useful if the two related issues are assigned to different contractors as the person responsible for the latter work can see the status of the previous activity. Thank you for joining me for TPM's 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren and I hope you have a great day.